We got a Hall of Famer with us today, man. Jim Palmer, thanks so much for hopping on the feed. My pleasure. You ready to check out some of your top social media posts? Well, you think they're top. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to see them before I know whether they're top or not. First one, when you see this photo, 1973, your first ever Cy Young, what do you think when you look at it? That I could get an extra 5,000. <laughs> you know, we, if you won 20 games, uh, you could get a $15,000 raise. And if you won a uh, Cy Young, you could maybe get an extra five. So I'm, that's why I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you got some flow, I love it. Guys had long hair and a lot of the guys had mustache, but you always knew who they were because they had their uniforms on. So we had like a, uh, you know, players union meeting over there and they, everybody looked alike. <laughs> I didn't know who was who. You've always had that flow. Check this well, out. Well, you know, that, 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 that actually was part of the, uh, one of the top baseball cards. They wow. have my picture, yeah. You know, I was born here in New York, so I'm sure that's up in Westchester. Oh, no way. Yeah. I, I thought I could swim a little bit better than having to have an inner tube, but apparently that wasn't the case. So is this yours? This was on the Twitter No, you know, my, uh, my wife's dad was a collector. I mean, uh, you know, he had Babe Ruth's shoe when he played with the Red Sox. Bronze. What? Yeah. Uh, before he came to the Yankees, he had the gun to kill Billy the Kid. And you have some fun autographs yourself. You signed the kid's forehead? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, and, and I told him, I said, if you really want an autograph, I'm going to have to sign your forehead. <laughs> and he was so nice. He was, you know, fun. I mean, look at the smile. You can tell. It. You know, it's, it's funny. People like what you do. They, you know, they think you're something special. But I found years ago that you know, if you're actually just nice to people, I mean, the same amount of time it takes to be rude to somebody, you can sign their forehead. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Everybody listen to that. That's yeah, good Well, it's right just, there. I mean, you have a choice, you know, and it doesn't take any longer. I mean, it's funny when we go to Cooper's now starts joining autographs, number one, there'll be a big line, but it's so much easier just to say, hey, thanks for coming. You know, I'm yes. glad you love the game. Take their hand, take a picture, and they they think you're a lot nicer person than you really are. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. When I say <laughs> <laughs> but a fun interaction. Yeah. And I always say that if you're a dog person, you're likely a good person. So you are a good person. And uh, Oh, no, here we go with Teddy. Teddy's keeping okay. you young, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, my... Again, going back to my wife, she, you know, growing up in College Station, they had about seven or eight um, uh, short hair and long hair dachshunds. So when I saw uh, Aaron, you know, Aaron Judge in Baltimore, my wife had sent me, she said, did you read the article in the Post about how uh, Anthony Rizzo has a dachshund? I, I don't think they're wired hairs, but, uh, and he said, you need to re-sign with the Yankees. We'll give you a 360 million to go along with it, but um, you, because our dogs don't want to be separated. So I see Aaron here. I'm up here at the Yankee Stadium. I see him the other day. The cage. First thing he says, he got a new dog, Gus. So Penny. Now you got Gus. You know, the, you know, those are the two dogs that Aaron has. But you know, my wife loves this dog, and it's funny. You know, it's when you you know I don't really hang out on Instagram, but I flipping through there, and there are a lot of dachshund pictures. Oh, and they all bark. Sure. They all eat. Uh, they all want to, you know, they're, they're just lovable animals. Yeah. yeah. No, you got it down. And right here you say, in honor of National Pet Day, Teddy, you'd like to share your dream pet, which uh, this McLaren. So yeah. what, did you go home with it or what? No, no. <laughs> I don't fit in a McLaren and I can't afford it either. <laughs> so I'm two for two. I'm hitting a thousand. So one thing that you're doing during your retirement days is you, uh, you're you playing some golf, baby. You still got a nice, nice golf swing. Um, I don't actually, you know, I, and people go, geez, you have a swing like Jim Furyk, and I go, just hope it works as well. <laughs> you know, I go, you know, ideally you'd like to take the club here. I kind of take it, uh, you know, kind of up and out. Uh, but uh, you know, again, so did Freddie Couples, and he's doing quite well still, and at, at an advanced age on the senior tour, whatever. Do you ever get a hole in one? You know, actually, I'm playing golf with Jeb Bush. All and, right. And we're playing down in South Miami. We get to the eighth hole, and I hit a, you know, hit an eight iron. I think it's 160 yards. And, you know, kind of goes over a little hill and um, Jeb Bush looks at me and he says, um, did you uh, ever have a hole in one? I said, no. He said, well, you just did. No and way. And I go, are you sure? And the two secret service guys with the, you know, the with the UZs on the back of the uh, golf cart, they go. At least you had witnesses there to see it. Oh, yeah. Howdy, folks. Cowboy Jim here. Now, you do know it's Sunday night and you do know, what does that mean? Yellowstone. So, I, I haven't exactly been like Ben McDonald because we don't have a lot of gators out here in Southern California. So I made some Texas Aggie chili. 
Dude, I love this outfit, man. And you're a big time chef. Well, this is all about Ben McDonald. See, Ben loves Yellowstone, and he would dress up. You know, he's from Louisiana, so he has an excuse. So my wife says, well, you need to get some cowboy, uh, you know, being from Texas. Uh, you know, because you need to get some Texas pajamas. So I just figured we'd make chili. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and it's 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 uh, not ranch house chili. Yeah, correct. I was going to say, you do With a really beans. good job of showing that on your Twitter page. So if you guys want to see any of the food that Jim's talking about, you got to check out the Twitter page. So after you do make a meal like that, Matt, is this how you're walking out of the kitchen? Yeah, I just, you know, in case I ever get into, what is it, MMA uh, wrestling? Uh, yeah. That's, uh, what's his name? Uh, McGregor. Yeah. Like when I first started uh, doing Twitter, my producer, the Don D. Agostino, said, you better count to 10 and you better take a deep breath before you tweet because, you know, you could get in trouble. So we saw your cooking skills. See, so you strutting in the kitchen. And also, too, you grow some lemons. Dude, that lemon is huge. I know. You know, it's a, I think it's a Myers lemon. They, they tricked us. Like, that one on the left won't taste good. This one will. Okay. If they get too big, they get pithy. Huh. You know? And of course, you know, out there, succulents do so well. So, obviously, I'm going to plant that. Also, too, making pancakes, man. Well, yes. It looks sweet. My, Perfect I, round shape over there. I guess. <laughs> well, you know, my stepson, his dad used to take him to Disneyland every... I think every Thursday uh -huh. in, in, uh, in, you know, in Anaheim. So, you know, he loves Disney. That's, that's a Disney pajamas. We see all these social media posts that you have. You obviously are a family man. You love to have fun. Thank you so much for hopping on the feed. That was a ton well, of fun, Well, you're man. welcome.